Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Emmanuel, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use Lottie to add animation to your project. And this is basically going to make your app look a little bit more alive, right? And uh, before we actually jump into today's video, I want to take a moment to mention that I'm going to be organizing a boot camp on the 5th of June. And basically what we're going to be building is a real-time messaging app. And we're going to build this from scratch. So we're going to cover a lot of, you know, core concepts in iOS development. We're going to work with Firebase, uh, Firebase Messaging, Auth, Firestore. And um, we're going to build this with a team of just 10 people. So I'm going to be uh, managing this alone and I can only manage just 10 people. So if this is something you're interested in, if you want to build a project that you want to add to your portfolio, then just go ahead, check the description, visit the link and just go ahead and register. All right. So um, to our video for today. Now I have a very simple um, project here and what I have is a class that um, is basically going to serve as our custom button. So this is a, a class called button of type UI button. And we have this um, variable here that basically holds the last text or the text for the button before changing it. So actually, let me just go ahead and run this so that you have an idea of what is happening. So we have a button on the screen. Whenever you click it, the text changes to loading whenever the uh, button or the state is loading. And if you click again, this is going to stop loading. And if you go over to the view controller, you're going to see that we have our button set up here. So we have the button, we have the text set here to click me, then we have constraints set for center x, y, and then the width, right? Then whenever you click on a button, we just go ahead and toggle the state of the button to be loading or not loading. Now looking at this, we can actually or we can definitely improve on this by um, changing this. So whenever it is not loading, we don't want to show a text saying loading. Instead, we want to show an animation. We want to have um, some animation in the button. So now if I go ahead and run this, you would notice that when we click on this, it's now blank. So at this point, we want to show our loading state. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to add a dependency, which is going to be Lottie. So if you know how to add dependency using something like CocoaPod, you can go ahead and open your terminal and navigate to the project. So I have my project in um documents uh then my tutorials and then lottie animation tutorial and from here i'm just going to say pod in it now this is going to create a new file called pod file and i'm just going to open up pod like this and basically we're going to have this file and here we're going to say pod say lowercase p and then we're going to say Lottie iOS. Great. And now going back to the terminal, we're going to say pod install. Now this is going to, oops, so I'm going to find Lottie iOS. Let's see. Did I miss that? Actually, this should be lowercase. Why are you forcing? Let's try it again. And now this is going to install Lottie. Okay. Great. So now that we have that installed, let's go ahead and open up. So we're going to have to open up this file. So you can say open. Awesome. So this is our pod. We have this open. And what we want to do next is go back to our button class. And here we're going to import Lottie. So import Lottie. And then we're going to create a view. We're going to create a private view. Nope. Private let. And I'm going to call this um, animation view or just call it loading view. All right. And this is going to be equal to Lottie animation view. And the name is going to be our the name of our animation. So what we're going to do next is go over to LottieFiles.com. And here we want to download our animation. So you can just go ahead and search for kind of whatever kind of animation you want. You can see a lot of options here. So I think we could could use this one, I guess, or I mean, let's just use this one. You can go ahead and choose whatever animation you want, then go ahead and download this. And since that is downloaded, we're going to have to add that to our project. So just get the file and paste that right there. Make sure this is selected like this and finish. 
So we can go ahead and rename this to button animation. Great. So here we can go ahead and say button animation like that. All right. So here we have our um, view added, but what we need to do next is to actually add this view to our sub view, right? So what we can do is go ahead and create our, our init and we're going to have to do super init frame zero. And then we could create a private func, private func here and call this setup. And in our setup function, what we're going to do is we're going to add our loading view to our view and basically add all the constraints. So you can go ahead and do this as well. Say super dot init coder like that. And here we want to call setup. Here we can call setup as well. So again, the first thing we want to do is to add the loading view to the sub view. So just say add sub view, and then we're going to add the loading view. Next, we're going to say loading view dot translate because we want to add our um, constraints. So dot activate. And actually, if you don't have any idea what I'm doing here, if this is confusing to you, I have a video where I explained programmatic UI. So you can just go ahead and check the link and um, you know follow the tutorial. This is going to make a lot of sense to you. So here, what we want to do is uh, say the loading view dot center x dot constraint equal to center x, and we're going to duplicate this and then center y like that. Then we can go ahead and give it maybe a height constraint if we want to. So nope, um, height dot constraint, and we can say this should be equal to. Uh, let's say maybe 40, I guess. You can just play around with the values actually until it looks good. So this is going to add the loading view here and then this is going to activate. So now let's go ahead and run this just to have an idea of what we currently have. But we should see the um, Lottie view or the, um, the animation view on the screen. So we are running this and I was running into the wrong place. So I'm just going to select um, 14 Pro and run it again. Great. So now you can see that we actually have that there. So now um, click isn't working. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the well in the setup as well. And we're going to say loading view dot is user interaction enabled. And I'm going to set this to false. It's either that or you could well, I think this is the better option. So now we can see that the tab actually works. And so this actually looks good for what we want. So what we want to do is when it's like this, we now want this to animate. Now with Lottie is really simple. All we need to do is say lo loading view, say loading view dot um, play. And if we run this, you would see that it is already animating, right? Now, um, there are a couple of more configurations, like you notice that it played once. So I'm going to say loading view dot um, loop mode, and this is going to be equal to loop, right? So actually, let's go ahead and play it here just for testing. And we run this again, and it should already be animating, which is what we want. And you can see that this, even though the colors are messed up, it still looks pretty good. So um, let's actually make this a little bit better so that when it is loading, it shows the loader. When it is not loading, it doesn't show the loader. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the did set right here. And what we're going to say is whenever you set the value and it is loading, what we want to do is we want to reset our um, or play our animation. So here I'm going to say um, loading view nope, dot play. And we could actually add a stop here. So say loading view dot stop, just so that we do a reset. So whenever you change the value, just stop the animation. Whenever you, if, if the value is true, then it would play. All right. So this is good. The next thing we want to do is we want to hide this view whenever it is not animating. So we can say loading view dot is hidden, 
should be equal to whenever it is not loading. So go ahead and run this. And here, okay, so it's still visible. So by default, we have it set to false. So we need to hide this in our, um, in our what's it called, setup. So loading view dot um, uh, is hidden equals true, okay? So we run this and here we don't see the loader. When I click on this, now it loads, I click on it again, it stops loading. So just like that, we've created a very nice, even though not visually appealing, but we've added animation to our app and it's actually really simple, just like you've seen. So you can go ahead and if you check um, Lottie again, you would notice that there's a lot more animations. For example, let's say we wanted to search for um, sport can just search for that and you would see some animations that you could even use. So let's say you had a game kind of application or just something like this. And this would make your app more um, lively. It's going to be more appealing, you know? Okay. So that's it. Uh, that's actually all the things I wanted to talk to you about in today's video. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comment section. If you are interested in the bootcamp where we can build something tangible, something you can add to your portfolio, go ahead and register using the link in the description and, um, you know, enjoy the rest of your week. Have a nice day. Bye -bye. Yeah!